The political scene in the country has continued to heat in the past few weeks, even as 2022 general elections nears. Political rallies have continued to be held in different parts of the country amidst threats posed by the coronavirus. At the same time, some of the political rallies that have taken place in the last few weeks have reportedly advocated for hatred and undermining individual preference in political candidatures in whatever seats. <laughs> Worrying Lee that talks of incitement in the past have seen the country dragged through the mud as it nests in 2007 when the political scenes then saw thousands of Kenyans die and several others displaced. Informal settlements in the country have been at the highest risk of violence as youth usually have no jobs, hence the masses of politicians who use them to provoke violence. In celebrations to mark International Peace Day, different peace advocates stemming from Kibra convened a conference that saw the youth and residents of Kibra converge at the Olympic primary to talk matters regarding peace and how to promote peace in the area that has been on the losing end in election violence. <laughs> National Cohesion and Integration Commission, NCIC, Commissioner Wambo Inyutu, who spoke at the event, added her voice to the matter of politicians, inciting the public, saying the commission has taken an upper hand in the matter and is following up to ensure the culprits are brought to book. But this time, as NCIC, we will not allow uh, Kenya to have a, a, a post-election violence. And that is why we have started very early to request the DPP to, to press charges against most of the politicians and we have very many cases in court that are uh, targeting politicians who are propagating hate speech. Perpetrators of hate speech have in the past walked scot-free with concerns now shifting to where bringing the culprits to book is enough. Responding, Wamboy assures Kenyans that the commission is putting up mitigation measures to put a stop to incitements by using several culprits as case studies. So as NCIC we are doing a lot and we have very many cases in court. I'm sure you are well aware of that. And we are still pursuing others. We are doing uh, investigations of uh, very many cases. And uh, soon you will see most of these politicians, um, you know, prosecuted. And uh, finally we will have uh, uh, most of them <laughs> even uh, put to jail because of, uh, you know, inciting people to violence, which is a very... Going with the theme of the day, shaping peace together in Kibra, UN Habitat Youth of Isala in Asijenyi acknowledges the importance of having such fora where youths are sensitized on the importance of promoting peace. Na, na, na. Noting that he has witnessed the impact such fora has in changing the lives of youths in Kibra. We've been doing a lot of things to, for, to create opportunities for the young people. So today is an opportunity for us to build further on those. What is it that we are doing that we can be able to keep our young people busy? Because from research indicated that when people are positively engaged, they can be economically empowered, they can find alternative means of livelihood, then they cannot easily be used for political classes and for political short games. Grace Wangoi, Hope TV News Watch. <laughs>